what is up my ABA babes so I'm gonna start getting back to the consistent TikTok classes on our lovely Cooper and we're getting back to chapter two and today we're talking about the environment okay Penny Packer defines the environment as the full set of circumstances in which the organism exists. And we can think about the outside environment, stimuli coming in like a bird chirping, but we can also think of the environment going on within a body, like your heart beating, things that are happening within someone. Something to note here is that the environment is complex and it's constantly changing and it differs from moment to moment. In the next few videos, we're gonna go over what stimuli are in the environment. Okay, so a stimulus is an energy change that affects an organism through its receptor cells. And we have some receptor systems here, extra receptors, interreceptors, and proprioceptors. I have such a hard time spelling that one. The extra receptors deal with the external stimuli. So like hearing a bird chirping, feeling the sun on your skin, things that relay information that's happening in the outside environment. We can think of taste, smell, hearing, etc. And then we have interoceptors that um, signal internal stimuli. So like having a headache, getting a stomach ache, those types of things. And we also have proprioceptors, which signal senses of movement and balance. In behavior analysis, we're usually looking at the external stimuli and dealing with the external environment. Just for review, stimuli can be anything in the environment that affects the organism. And stimuli can be social or non-social. An example of a social stimulus might be seeing my ex in the grocery store and then saying hi. A non-social example would be the lights of the grocery store flickering. In applied behavior analysis, I think we usually think of social stimuli, but it's also important to think of non-social stimuli that might be happening in the environment. We can also categorize stimuli into a stimulus class, which is any group of stimuli that share common elements. Stay tuned for the next TikTok class I host, and we'll go into that in more detail. 